any documents that you do not understand whatever thing they write on a hello beautiful people and welcome back again to another episode of my vlog so guys in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you some of the mistakes that we all make when coming to seek for asylum in any of these european countries so first things first if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please do that and i don't want to be begging you to subscribe because I know you would not like to miss any of my videos that will be coming up next because I have decided to make a niche for my channel and I have decided to talk about more of asylum issues because I see that a lot of our people who are coming here to seek for asylum they really do not know what to do a lot of mistakes are everywhere even me I made some mistakes and so I thought I would like to correct some of these mistakes in my video. So what are the mistakes that we all make when coming to seek for asylum in European countries? The first common mistake I will advise that you do not do is like telling them that you don't have anybody living in Germany or in Europe in whichever European country you are living in you should try as much as possible to be sincere even to yourself like when they ask you do you have anybody living in Germany they ask you this not because they really want to trace you when we were coming to Germany we had a lot of advices like people will tell you don't let them know you have somebody here and that is a common mistake don't ever do it if you have people at home if you have anyone in your country back home let them know that you have these people at home because a time will come when you actually need these people a time will come when you want these people to come and live with you here but because you have told them you have nobody then there is no need you can't tell somebody that ah, I, I don't have parents, for example, and then all of a sudden, one year, you just come up with the issue that I want to bring my parents here. It doesn't work that way. So that is one common mistake that people make when they come to seek for asylum in another man's country. They ask you if you have people. That doesn't mean that they want to get anybody in trouble. Sometimes they don't even ask you the names of these people. They don't even ask you where do they live. They, do, they just want to know if you are just alone or if, if you need help. Or they just want to know where to place you. You see? So if you have people who are related to you, all they could do for you is, is just take you and add you. Or maybe put you in a region closer to those your people so you don't feel lonely because Europe here is kind of boring so that is one thing don't ever make that mistake of telling them I don't have anybody whether back home or whether here in Europe so that's one mistake and the second mistake that you should not do is never lie to them like never ever degrade yourself when you have degrees at home back home no matter the level you are let them know that okay this is where i have reached this is my educational level and don't try to put yourself down or even higher because it will affect you these are some of the mistakes that people coming to europe to come and seek for asylum they actually they often make this mistake for example, let's say, for example, you are a degree holder in your country and then you come here and tell them that, oh, because you want pity and you tell them, oh, I didn't even go to a secondary school. And you think you are actually going to gain favor with that. But unfortunately, when they want to start with you, when you want to go back to school here or when you want to integrate, you will find yourself integrating in a lower stage, which is not going to help you. Just imagine that 
you you just finished primary school and they want to start your case they really want to help you you're going to start back from primary school which is even far from where you are coming from so at least try not to like bring yourself degrade yourself or even take yourself higher so for example just like in the example i gave if you're a degree holder and maybe you say okay i am um in this stage of life and where you are even selling them that you are you have not even reached there for example and all of a sudden they want to start again with you they now take you higher and when you get there you cannot even cope with the level of people that they are going to put you together so it doesn't make any sense lying to them that you are this when you are not that so that's the second thing you should not make mistake of doing so the third thing the third mistake that people who come here make are uh, that they don't ask so much question people just go to different countries they don't do research before you ever leave your country to any country try as much as possible to like make researches ask people questions there are people there in every country where you visit you always find your nationality there there even if you don't find your nationality there are people who are living there that know a little about the process there always try as much as possible to ask people who are living in the country that you want to go how this place is and how things are there those are the mistakes that you could make you may never know how things are done there until you ask questions so try as much as possible to always ask questions ask questions about this whole thing in my own case when i i was coming to europe i never had the opportunity of asking people questions or even seeing a video like this to watch if i had a clue of what all this asylum process looked like i i mean it wouldn't have been so difficult for me but all the same so the next advice i'm going to give is if you're in a particular country try as much as possible to like integrate yourself into the community or the society where you find yourself try as much as possible if it's a country where they they speak language they just like their language like i know in in italy and in germany they just love their languages so you just have to there is no option there's no way out you just have to try as much as possible and integrate yourself learn their language because when you learn these languages you have a whole lot of opportunities you have it, things will just start moving for you like you can't imagine somebody wants to help you on the way and they are trying to ask you ah how may i help you or do you need this in and because you just cannot answer that you just lost that opportunity so try as much as possible to integrate yourself in any country that you find yourself try as much as possible if you have the opportunity i know that a lot of countries do not give these opportunities they say okay maybe you have to stay this amount of time maybe you have to do certain things maybe you have to bring this document and that document but when you have the opportunity just try as much as possible and integrate yourself. Another tip I would like to share is when you have the opportunity of working as well, whether you are a family, you are a single mom, you are um, a single dad, whatever you are, even if you are single. So just try as much as possible and work because one thing you don't know about this working in in europe is you work you are actually working for yourself don't think that you're doing it for somebody or maybe you prefer to sleep and get whatever they give you at the end of the month because let me just explain to you why i am saying this let's say for example you are getting 500 euros every month without working and you go to work you get 1000 euros at the end of the month it's just an example so that 500 euros more that you have is something for you you can actually do a lot with it than just wasting the whole of your one month sleeping and eating and having 500 euros 
that same 500 euros that you have you're still going to spend it but imagine when you have twice of that amount then it's enough for you to do something reasonable for yourself that's one reason why you should work and the second reason why you should actually work is this let's say for instance they decide now they say okay these people they are so much there are too many here we don't want them let's send some home who do you think they are actually going to send home the ones that are working or the ones that are just sleeping so it's better you use your head and know what to do my own advice for you is as a single girl single mom single dad single brother or whatever just try as much as possible and look for something to do if you're not integrating yourself you're not going to school look for work just keep yourself busy with something don't just sit down at a place so this is another common mistake that people who come to seek for asylum they do in this europe but the next common mistake that people who come seeking asylum they make is some people when you come here normally to seek for your asylum just like i made in the other video if you have not seen that video just try and check the description box below i'm going to leave the link here i talked about how you should come and uh, seek for asylum so during that process after you have applied for the, the asylum process when your asylum process is taking place they are just monitoring you sometimes they just keep you quiet they just watch you to see if you're actually going to to obey their law or if you are actually good enough to stay here they are watching you but you don't know it they are actually looking at you so what i'm going to advise you is try as much as possible not to break their rules if you don't know their rules whatever thing that you know is good try as much as possible to be doing it avoid fighting avoid quarreling any kind of thing that will make your name come out from where you are living and enter into their fight just avoid it whether it is buying of tickets or maybe it's fighting or i don't know whichever kind of problem you get into try as much as you can 100 percent get rid of anything that will put your name in their bad book because that's where most of these people their problems come from that's where most people who live in Europe, their problems come from asylum seekers. They just mess up the asylum. You haven't been granted a stay and all your file is counting red. Like it's reading red, 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 red. It's not going to help issues. So try as much as possible to avoid anything that will make you get into their bad record. One thing you must note in this Europe is when you, when you do good... They don't count that you are just like every other normal person but when you start committing they have big lists where your name is written they just have big file for you next thing i would like to advise is try as much as you can to be yourself stop using people's nationality as your nationality be yourself because you never can tell which nationality they are going to favor the fact that um this person from this nationality got documents doesn't mean that other people from the other nationality will not get so it just depends on individual everybody have their luck so stop selling your nationality for another person's nationality because you just never can tell they might get to know that oh you are not this nationality okay let's say for example um you claim to be this nationality nationality a for example meanwhile you are nationality b and all of a sudden they now ask you okay you go and get us your passport as a nationality a that you are and maybe you go there in nationality a embassy they cannot identify you as their citizen they know already that you don't belong here so what do you do then how do you go now to nationality B with your information as a nationality A? It doesn't work that way. So try as much as possible to like be yourself. Take your nationality. 
that's who you are and you can't change it don't try to change it because it's going to catch up on you one day one fine day you're just going to regret ever doing that try as much as possible i am begging you like you're just my own person any document that you do not understand whatever thing they write on the paper this paper and pen is very powerful it can sell it can buy whatever thing you know you don't understand don't ever sign it when they say okay you sign this tell them no problem i'm going to take my time and read it and sign it or maybe they should give you the the version that you understand maybe the the translation in your own language that you can understand don't you ever make the mistake of signing what you don't know try as much as possible to like open up to your lawyer when you have a lawyer in any of the european countries you hire them because you want to tell them the real truth even if this truth you didn't tell it to the bamf or to the police when you came actually learn to tell the lawyers the truth because they are the ones fighting for you without them knowing the truth they don't even know where to start so try as much as possible to open up with your lawyer to your lawyer and they are going to know where to start from to fight your case so i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i love you all and i will keep bringing you different updates and i know you would not like to miss that if you don't want to miss any of my videos turn on the notification bell when you subscribe to my youtube channel and so you will get updated each time i make new videos about asylum cases anyway guys until i come your way next time i still remain your host jbb lifestyle peace out